Welcome to this podcast from Stratfor, leader in global intelligence. Hello, and thanks for joining us for the Stratfor Daily Podcast for Tuesday, August 18th. I'm Marla Dial. For the past several weeks, political turmoil in Iran has been a recurring theme in world news and our discussions. As you know, there have been public clashes between hardline religious conservatives and political reformists, and much more tellingly, there's been serious infighting among the conservatives who lead the government. Those include three key figures, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the Assembly of Experts Chairman Ali Akbar Hashimi Rafsanjani, who is Iran's second most powerful cleric, and of course, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Well, today, there's evidence of further fracturing within the system. Stratfor has received word from a reliable source that a new paramilitary force is being created, and it's a militia that will be devoted to the person of the Supreme Leader. Senior analyst Kenran Bukhari has more. You would think that considering that Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is commander-in-chief of all armed forces, he gets to appoint the heads of all the organizations, including the IRGC, the Basij, the police, and the regular armed forces, that he is in control of, of the security apparatus of the country. But if we have reports like this coming out that there is a, a new militia it's loyal to or it's centered around the supreme leader, then one wonders what is the reality of the supreme leader's hold or control or authority over the wider security establishment. Taking this in the context of what has been going on since the recent election, it really paints a picture of Khamenei appears to be very vulnerable, or at least he feels that his power is eroding. The very fact that you know he's had to use force to crack down on dissent shows that his moral authority has been damaged, particularly because of his decision to align with controversial President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, whom, by the way, he's having a hard time controlling himself. So it's not as if the, the, the simple act of aligning with Ahmadinejad got him into trouble. That did get him into trouble, but on top of that, it's not as if his relationship with the president is all smooth and nice. And therefore, it's interesting to see how the Supreme Leader sees himself vulnerable on many levels. Bukhari says it's not clear how the new militia, called the Hedaryan, would fit into the existing security structure, which is dominated by the elite Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps. Some of its members have been recruited from the Basij, a militia of religious zealots falling under the IRGC's command. Based on what we learned, the members of this militia are far more zealous than their Basij counterparts, but the main difference is that the Hadrian is very much centered around the figurehead of the Supreme Leader. And once again, if they're loyal to the Supreme Leader, then what does that say about the IRGC, which also reports to the Supreme Leader and, and the rest of the security forces? So and it creates competition, and especially if the IRGC is not going to be controlling the Hadrian, it creates a situation where the IRGC is wondering, that where do they stand in terms of the priorities of the Supreme Leader, they would not like the idea of an organization existing and operating beyond their control. Ultimately, Bukhari says it's less than clear how the Hidarian's existence might strengthen Khamenei's position, but the move does speak to psychological realities, and it adds to the complexity of a political system where it increasingly appears that it's every man for himself. We'll be tracking this development and gathering more information in the coming days. Please follow along as we do so by logging into our website at www.stratfor.com. You'll get more in-depth coverage, details of breaking situations, and all the background you need. I'm Marla Dial, and that's our podcast for today. Thanks as always for listening.